Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. My name is Neil, and today we're going to go over node modules. So, uh, here I have two files, import.js and export.js. And I'm going to show you guys how to export your modules and then import them. So, I wanted to go spend some time and explain oh, how we could do that. So, let's jump right in. I have VS Code open here, and you want to have node JS install. So if you just go to uh, Google and type in Node.js install, you'll be able to uh, install it from there and follow along. All right, so I have my terminal open here, and in my export.js, I'm going to show you two ways how you can export something. So we have exports and then module.exports, and I want to just take some time to explain what the difference is and how they're actually related. So first. When you export a, uh, when you have module here, I just want to uh, let you know that this is just a plain JS object with a property that can that has that is exports. All right, and exports is just a JS variable that happens to be set to module.exports. So let's say we have a variable here, let name equal to Neil. All right, and let's say I add this okay and I'm going to set this equal to name okay so if you set a property on exports like this what this will be doing is setting name to here okay so now I'm going to comment this out and I'm going to show you how to import this module so all we need to do here is say cons uh, let's say test is equal to re we're going to use the require statement and then you just give the relative path to the JS file so you here since it's in the same directory we just say export and I'm going to console.log test and what you'll see here is we have an object so I'm going to say node import and we have an object with the key and value so using exports.name that's what we get is an object and, and if we wanted to access that we just say test.name okay and we'll get the value okay so now I wanted to show you guys the difference between this and then just using module.exports so now if I wanted to export something uh, using module.exports I would say module.exports is equal to name and then in my import all I would do is just access it by using test so if I did node import, I would just access the direct value passed, exported from here. So that's the difference. And I generally have always used module.exports because it's uh, straightforward and I don't have to remember to destructure or access the uh, property from here, this variable object. Okay, so I wanted to show some examples here. So let's say we have a function. Let's do test func is equal to set it to an arrow function. And we'll just do some console.logging test function. All right. So if I do module.exports is equal to test func, we're sending a reference to whatever file will import this. So we're adding the reference of this function to module.exports. So now, if I console.log this, you'll see that it's just a reference to that function. And if you want to run this, we can just simply do test, execute it, and we should get the console.log. Okay, so module.exports is great to use to uh, for exporting class, object, function at the root level. And even these, if you have constant names. Um, so I don't really see any point to use exports dot whatever. I just, I've always used module dot exports. And uh, I just wanted to take the time to explain this. So whenever we import using the require statement, we can obviously, uh, if you have used Node.js, we can require something like the file system. And these are built-in node modules. Or we can require NPM modules that we install. We can also 
require other JS files and other types of files. Uh, so those are the things that we can use a require statement for. So that's why it's needed here to import whatever we export here. So that's just a quick little uh, tidbit on node modules. And I hope you learned or gained something from this. And if you did, please consider liking and subscribing. I will probably do a more in-depth project for my next video. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.